welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome thank you so much for clicking on my video today if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning and watching my video today today we're going to be doing my paycheck number two breakdown for the month of july and we're going to be reconciling my first paycheck in july all right guys so before we get started i do want to open up you got it a new bubbly I'm so excited. I have been waiting to try this flavor for the longest time. I saw it in Canada. It wasn't here in the States yet. And the other day I went to Target and I saw it and I bought a pack. I have not tasted it because I wanted to do my actual tasting on camera with you guys to let you know how I really feel about it once it touches my palate. <laughs> All right, so you ready for this? Drum roll. Have a little sneak peek all right oh, oh my gosh i am so <laughs> i know that was like obnoxious but yes it is the pineapple bubbly it is so adorable i just love this color this yellow is my absolute favorite yellow and look at the top it says aloha so cute all right guys so you know what i gotta do i gotta let's crack this open and see how this tastes It's very interesting. It tastes, it smells like pineapples. Like, like you literally have your nose inside of a pineapple, you know, container with chunks of pineapple. That's what it smells like. And it tastes like pineapple. It is, it's really good. I love it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. went down the wrong pipe <coughs> <coughs> wow okay I'm back I just had a little cough attack I don't know I, I think I drank and I didn't swallow fast enough so it like really hurt in my throat anyway okay so for those that are new this is the budget by paycheck workbook from the budget mom and this is the July booklet so I'm going to open up right to my first paycheck in July. And we're going to enter. Let me just zoom you guys in. That way you can see good. For those that are new and for those that are watching, um, I do not disclose my income, my actual income. What I do disclose is my income plus any rollover and also any money that I replenish my checking account with. So we're going to enter that total in this little box right here. And that amount is $2,678.50. Okay, so we're gonna just add up these totals and input the bill total and then add up this column and then this column and then we'll subtract the total income from that. Four sixteen and three cents. Okay, so now we're gonna add up these um, actuals. So that's one ninety two. Okay, so now we're gonna take the total income, which is two thousand six seventy eight and forty nine cents, minus the one thousand ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents, and that is. 1,500, I'll just smooth this. I wanna make sure that you guys can see this. Mm. 78 and 54 cents. Okay, we're gonna bring this total up here. 1, 5, 7, 8 and 54. 
my phone tripod is in my way so I can't see this section right here so I'm hoping it's not covered but it should be fine yeah okay so 1578 and 54 cents minus the four hundred and sixteen dollars and three cents brings us to one thousand one hundred sixty two dollars and fifty one cents and I messed up where's my you know I can't do one of these videos without writing something incorrect <laughs> 1,162 and 51 cents. I did use an erasable um, pen. I used this one right here. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's the, the lighting is really bad right now. It looks kind of dark to me, but I'll type the name on the screen. Um, but it's Fryaxon. I don't know. It's, it, they're good. It's just, this one bleeds a lot, so I didn't want to use it. So I'm just using this pen. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's bring the total down to this section right here. And then we're gonna deduct 192. So that's $970 and the 51 cents, yeah, 51. Okay, so now we're gonna bring this amount to the top here. 970 and 51 cents and we're going to add up these amounts so that's 251 and 53 cents so now we're going to subtract this amount 51 minus 251 53 equals 718 and 98 cents subtract 60 658 and 98 cents and this you guys i'm going to show you how this amount is my account the day before i got paid okay here so you see here, six fifty-eight and ninety-eight cents. Six fifty-eight and ninety-eight cents. All right, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and do my paycheck number two breakdown for the month of July. Okay. So now we're gonna break down my second paycheck in July. So I'm gonna put the date of my pay, which is seven sixteen, twenty twenty-one. And I'm gonna write up over here paycheck. number two all right so i have one ahead and filled in all my categories for my bills envelopes and sinking funds and um i even filled out this portion just to save time on this video all right so let's just go ahead and put the date uh first of july was rent nope that is incorrect So this is actually August rent. So I'm going to save 285. And then my car note comes out on the 16th. And that's for 145 and 41 cents. That is every time I get paid that much comes out of my account for my car note. Let me just zoom you guys in a little bit that way you can see better. Okay, car insurance is due on the 19th, and that's going to be for one fifty-three and fifty-eight cents. Comcast was supposed to come out last paycheck, but it actually hit my account on Friday, the 16th. So I'm just going to put here the 16th, and I have budgeted, I believe it was ninety-two dollars for that. Apple storage comes out on the 19th. For $2.99. Renters insurance comes out on the 20th for $15.67. CBS comes out on the 25th for $9.99. And then my cell phone, I 
pay it, but I don't pay it with this money. I actually am about three, four months ahead of my cell phone bill because I pay it out of another account. So that's that. All right, so let's just move over to gas. My gas is cashless, so that stays in the bank. Eating out is going to get its 50, spending 100, compra 140, household is going to get 10. Okay, beauty is going to get 15, Black Friday is going to get 9, delight 15, fur babies 10, giveaway 5. Okay, okay, home decor is going to get 15. Planner 10, supplies 20, support a friend 30, support a friend, um, I'm giving it a little bit more this time only because I've been overspending on that category, so I'm going to try to scale back and hold off and see how long I can go without purchasing anything only because I really, I don't know, it's just, I'm just becoming to be a little bit um, obsessed even though I don't need these things but i'm just gonna give it 30 and i have to replenish some money on my next uh weekly check-in number three um and yeah so let's just leave that at that <laughs> car maintenance is gonna get 10 medical is gonna get 30 emergency fund is going to get 60 travel 20 savings 40. All right, and then on the next page, I have week number two for my savings challenge. So that's going to be $80. All right, um, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to fast forward through this and fill this out. And then we'll come back at the end to calculate how much I'm going to be withdrawing from the bank. Let's just go ahead and add this up first. Okay, so let's just add all these up. 5, 10, 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 plus 10 is 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, three. Okay, so this is okay, so 12 times 5 equals 60. 13 times 10 equals 130. 20 times 5 equals 100. And then this is 150. Okay, so let's just do car maintenance through 14 weeks. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be withdrawing $711 from my second paycheck in July to stuff my envelopes and my sinking funds. And yeah, so everything went smooth and looks like it's good to go. So let me zoom you guys back out. All right, so this, you guys, is the end of my video. I wanna thank you guys so much for making it this far. And please stay tuned for my cash stuffing. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. 
and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. You guys have an amazing week, and you guys take care, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.